We have now an ABC News exclusive. Brian Ross has been investigating a car company that received big government funding to make very expensive, expensive electric cars of the future and put thousands of Americans to work building them. But so far, those cars are being made overseas. And I'm Brian Ross, you investigated. What's going on here, Brian? Well, good morning, Robin. The Obama administration has used taxpayer money to place what is essentially a billion-dollar bet on electric cars. And this morning, we have a first look at one of them, a car that, for all its sleek design and energy efficiency, is also raising questions about whether it could end up as another taxpayer boondoggle. It's called the Karma, the result of a $170 million federal loan to the Fisker Car Company. It's the creation of Hendrik Fisker, a famed European auto designer who took ABC News for a test drive in one of the first of his half-electric, half-gas vehicles to come off the line. You can hear it's very quiet, but you hear a little bit of the noise. Priced at $97,000, it's all luxury. So quiet that artificial engine noise is pumped through speakers so pedestrians can hear it coming. Fisker got a federal loan two years ago of more than $500 million. Vice President Joseph Biden saying the company would employ auto workers in his home state, Delaware. This is seed money that will return back to the American consumer in billions and billions and billions of dollars in good new jobs. And so far, the U.S. money has helped to create some 500 auto assembly factory jobs. But they are not in the United States. Rather, here at this plant in Finland. While U.S. taxpayer money is being spent only on American design and parts, Fisker says he decided, with government approval, to assemble his fancy car in Finland because no U.S. facility, he says, would do it, even with so many American auto workers laid off. Manufacturing are in, are, are in Finland, that's correct. But those are You think that's a good use of absolutely. U.S. taxpayer money? Yeah. Fisker says his plan is to eventually produce a cheaper, compact version of the car at the plant in Delaware where he says there will be thousands of jobs. But the company has had delays and won't start production here until at least next year. Should taxpayers worry about uh, that money, the 500 million plus that has been guaranteed? No, I don't think you need to worry about it. The first Fisker Karma was delivered to Leonardo DiCaprio. And Fisker says as more cars are shipped to the U.S. from Finland, Americans will come to appreciate what he has created. The Department of Energy says it knew the cars would be assembled in Finland, and that's why they couldn't have been made here in the U.S. The spokesperson said that ultimately, if Fisker is successful, it will mean thousands of jobs in this country. There are lots of questions about this, and we'll have more on our investigation conducted with the Center for Public... Hello, everyone. Welcome to Global Government News. Today is Monday, October 24th, 2011. I'm Darko. This is part three of this news bulletin. And um, so I'm going to finish up with some uh, police state, and then I'm going to move into the economy. And I might roll into a fourth video, we'll see. But uh, this is my website. If you have not visited it, if you have, you've probably heard me say this about a million times. But it is www.ggnonline.com. That's www.ggnonline.com. And YouTube is ddarko2012. Come check out a poll. Put in your email address if you want to follow us. Also, I haven't mentioned this yet, but uh, on Facebook, I do have a global government news group, so you can go in and uh, check that out if you'd like. Uh, the links for all these articles um, and headlines will be posted in YouTube's video description right underneath the video, so please check those out. A lot of time spent in putting up those links in between these videos. I kind of wish I could just do all at once, but it is nice to have a break. But, um, yeah, anyways, it says here, TSA agent leaves nice note in passenger's luggage. And uh, goes in here, and it says that uh, in an email titled "Hilarious, Horrifying," a tipster sent along this picture of a TSA luggage inspection notice that came with extra or sextra special bonus message: "Get your freak on, girl." Uh, quote: This happened to my friend on a flight on Saturday. The tipster writes, apparently, and quote: TSA found a personal item in her bag. Hmm. So, uh, anyways, you can go in there and check that out. But yeah, see, and you know, this is. It does kind of make sense because these guys, you know, they're uh, they're creeps. And I hate to say it, not all of them. A lot of them are just they are trying to, you know, make money to, to uh, you know, to get by and stuff like that. But at the same time, they're in a crappy position because a lot of people do not like what they're doing. They don't like what they represent, and now they have TSA out on uh, doing uh, checkpoints and that in Tennessee on 
on uh, state and f uh, state or federal highways. So, I mean, you're asking for a lot of anger to be to uh, 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 directed towards you if you work for, and you wear that uniform, that Nazi type uniform. If you do that and you molest kids and you're pulling over people and uh, invading their privacy as they travel and hindering their travel, you're asking to uh, have all this. Um, uh, venting or just all this attention, negative attention, uh, aimed towards you. So, you know, don't act like you're, you know, a victim or anything. So anyways, but yeah, get your freak on. So yeah, I mean, they're, they're, they're like, oh yeah, go on girl, get your freak on, you know, with that dildo in your bag. And because what there are a lot of them are, they've been caught stealing and, de and, and, and stealing and dealing drugs. And like I said, uh, taking advantage of young people. So it's like, yeah, they're not the most moral people. So, you know, these are the people that are supposed to, quote, keep you safe. They're, you know, morality, is, I guess is what I'm getting at here. It says here, CIA kidnapped, uh, tortured, wrong guy. Former CIA agent reveals that the agency kidnapped and tortured a man they wrongfully believe to be a top member of Al-Qaeda or Al-Qaeda and Osama bin Laden's personal bank. Police pepper spray, haka dancers at football game. You've probably already heard of this, but police in small Utah towns are being accused of overreacting after using pepper spray uh, to break up a group of Polynesian men and boys performing a traditional dance called a haka after a high school football. Now, this is a thing. They said that the performers were blocking an exit uh, after the game. Okay, so this is interesting. There's a little bit of background to this story, but it says that... Uh, it's uh, popularized by rugby players in New Zealand who chant and beat their chest and gesture aggressively before matches. This is, of course, what, what football is all about, right? And rugby and that, or soccer, or whatever you want to call it. And um, But it goes in here and says the group was reportedly, and they traveled 125 miles to go see a relative play. And it says the group reportedly was trying to boost the union's morale with Haka as the players left the field. Spectators, coaches, and players told the police that everything was fine and they should let uh, let the men perform, Jessica Rasmussen said, but officers asked them to make room and starting using pepper spray. Rasmussen re was reported as saying bystanders also got a spray in their eyes and ears and mouths, and he said the police cr uh, reacted was an embarrassment to the community of Roosevelt, and they went on and said, I've never seen anything like it. It was totally unprovoked. And, of course, this is what? This is a police state. This is guys that are probably, what? have maybe a microchip in them or something. I don't know. They're on steroids. They're getting too many vaccinations. But uh, overly aggressive. I mean, they're getting little testosterone pills in their in their, uh, in their their food or something. Either way, Chile tackle, tackles protesters with military draft order. Chile is giving nearly 57,000 18-year-olds one month to report for potential military duty, saying the government needs to fill gaps in its armed forces because of a nationwide student protest movement. Has it reduced the number of volunteers? Uh, usually gets moving on densely uh, linked cluster of 147 companies control 40 percent of the world's wealth and it says the network of global uh, corporate control a study published analyzes the ownership structures of the world's corporations and finds a tightly knit cluster which owns about 40 percent of the world so yeah it says it puts a lot of power into a small number of hands but also suggests that the governance governance hmm like 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 I just I've mentioned this before I think Alan Watts mentioned it, but it's but it's a pretty good uh, little um, way to look at this how to perceive this word governance it's it's almost like government as if it's being represented you're having representatives you're having people represent you but it's not it's a dictatorship so uh, and it goes on here it says of much of the world's wealth is closely correlated so one disaster could sweep like wildfire across all some more news uh, with the economy. Vatican calls for ooh a central world bank. Remember the Vatican also said in the Pope that uh, you know uh, you know aliens aren't that bad and you know there may be aliens invading and says here a central world bank to be set up. Says so Vatican called on money for the establishment of a global public authority and a central world bank. Oh, who's that going to be headed up by Satan to rule over financial institutions that have become outdated and often ineffective in dealing uh, fairly with crisis. So this is very interesting because this kind of chimes into what Zabrik Brzezinski was saying in that one video on MSNBC talking about how all these uh, uh, he calls them all the wealthy millionaire all the wealthy but he's referring to millionaires he's not referring to him and all of his uh, billionaire buddies right that uh, that actually create these crises so that they can sweep in here like the Vatican is doing and offer the solutions right so the solutions are coming straight from evil from Satan from the devil themselves the powers that be 
And um, what are they saying? Well, they're saying they want taxation measures on financial transactions. Well, that's what exactly what Brzezinski was talking about, the economic and financial crisis or takeover. And it goes in there and it talks about uh, about what? The adultery of the market, talking about possibly the semi-free market or the semi-rigged market, says uh, revealed behaviors like a selfishness and collective greed and hoarding of goods on a great scale. Now, among rich and poor nations, now, of course, this is all being done in our names. A lot of people lost their homes, a lot of scamming done by insurance companies, banks, and uh, government officials as well. So, But this is all going to affect who? This is going to affect millionaires and uh, below. So... Anyways, and more class warfare. New Euro, it makes me wonder what they're scheming. It says here, New Euro Empire. Remember, we talked about, uh, I didn't talk about, but I mentioned in the Halloween special about the uh, the bloodline. Your carbon footprint is really your bloodline, your 666. Your, what is it, six protons, neutrons, and electrons. That's what it stands for. And uh, so it's not a mark of the beast per se where you're going to get a chip in there. You're going to have to swipe, whatever. I'm starting to wonder now, it, it is actually your bloodline. And you won't be able to trade. Um, you won't be able to do certain things unless you have a certain blood type, your carbon footprint. New Euro Empire plot by Brussels. European Union chiefs are drawing up a plan for a single treasury to oversee tax and spending across. So this is what it's about, this treasury thing, huh? Check that out. New bailout fund to increase to 1 trillion euros. We remember Nigel Fargel talking about this, about how it was going to be up to 2 trillion by the end of the day. Eurozone bailout fund will see its firepower increase. In other words, more money stolen from people that haven't been born yet to more than 1 trillion euros to enable it to contain the Eurozone debt turmoil which is all created by what the same people it says here monster prediction from bank of america another u.s debt downgrade is coming in just a few weeks we also have heating oil shortage maybe worse after late orders talking about a heating oil crisis in the uk i've uh, mentioned that before luxury back in fashion despite downturn Mar uh, the market for luxury goods has come back with a bang in the past couple of years despite volatility elsewhere in the market kind of like those big electric cars for leo De leonardo dicaprio who promotes what oh climate man made climate change supersized food choices may be linked to status seeking so maybe this is what they're talking about by la uh, luxury goods going and get a big mac millions no they actually there are a lot of rich people all that wealth that was siphoned off that quote one per uh to the one percent well they're going out and buying luxury items especially in china it says millions may still have a mortgage in their 70s as we buy homes later it's not just buying later it's that you're you're a tax slave and you're not really meant to own your house you're meant to pay and die that's why you're they're making the age to retire past almost 70 or it's in right now 67 68 but it will eventually go until you die white house which is not bad to be productive but they want you to be a tax slave to you die white house uncertain how many to be aided by new housing plans so a significant uncertainty as to how they're going to divvy this up it just sounds like a big scam u.s companies plan little hiring firing over the next six months and look at this i wonder who these people are firing humans hiring machines jobs cut as global robotics market surges more jobs predicted for machines, not people. And this is October 23rd. The other one was from uh, August of this year. So as the drones are rising and killing humans, many workers, and of course, uh, the human element of killing is taken out of it, right? Many workers, in short, are losing the race against machines, which is funny because what? It's just they're talking about this theme of this race against the machine. And oh, an e-book, which is going to be on the Kindle Fire. And then you can go ahead and burn books too as well. Now we're talking about getting rid of jobs in here. And, but look at this, the technocracy movement social movement that seeks to replace government with a technocracy. The movement arose in the early 20th century and was popular in the early 30s when it overshadowed many proposals dealing with, oh, the Great Depression. Sounds familiar, doesn't it? Just like the shit we're going through right now. A nice engineered, fabricated economic, quote, crisis by the same people that are presenting this movement that are promoting, what, oh, this treasury and all this bullshit, global tax and climate change and the eurozone, gotta save the euro. Talking about how, you know, politicians, basically people that are supposed to represent people people and businessmen, entrepreneurs, well, they're not that smart to be able to handle it. They need to hand it over to what? Ooh, the experts with a philosophy that was assumed that energy was the critical factor for determining economic and social development. And money would be replaced 
with energy certificates. Talk about finding a job in a technocracy. It states much of the capital equipment consists of highly engineered manufacturing technologies such as computers, robotics, and other devices that allow makers of goods and often providers of services as well to replace people with machines. Now do you see what the carbon footprint is all about? Getting rid of all those useless eaters. Unemployed workers, 115-year-old electric car gets same name 40 miles to the charge as the Chevy Volt.